Pretty well and, and certainly came out strong tonight. Um, um, on their win, I'm certainly proud of our guys. Um, tough to dig out of an 8-1 um, hole early, but the guys stayed with it. I'm so proud of the fact that you know our leaders just kind of stayed the course. We kept chipping away, chipping away, chipping away. Uh, got that game, you know, one goal game with plenty of time left, and then uh, you know they did a good job of kind of countering that. Um, but all in all, you know, I'm proud of our guys. <laughs>
I look to push transition a decent amount, but I mean, it's a credit to all my teammates and, and their belief and, and the whole team as a whole, the trust we have. It's it's really about the team. It's not it's not just about me. When you broke free on that long run, did you see a crease there the whole way, or did you did that come into your vision as you crossed midfield? Uh, yeah, it was it was open. I I looked to pass it to the left, and they didn't slide. So I mean. Given the green light to go to the goal, I'm, I'm going to take it uh, 10 times out of 10. So uh, it's my job, and, and I just try to do it to the best of my ability. Uh, Coach, it seemed like early on you guys were forcing some shots and passes early when they kind of made their run. Was that more of struggling offensively, or their defense was a little better than you guys expected? Um, I think it could be a little bit of both. Um, you know, I think when, when you don't do as well as you'd like, obviously we have high standards, so, um, you know, you're going to kind of be critical of yourself, and certainly I'll, I'll blame myself. Um, you know, we were off to an 8-1 to one start. I didn't do a very good job of getting our guys ready uh, mentally and, and see, need to look back at what we practiced and certainly the tone I'm setting in the locker room. Um, but I think, you know, they play pretty good defense. Um, you know, I think with us, um, certainly I think if you ask, you know, Jared, I'm sure they feel like they probably could have played a little bit better. Um, but I typically tip my hat to my opponent and just say, hey, you know, they did a good job. Um, you know, and, and, and kind of leave it at that. Okay. Um, John, how do you prep for, you know, there's a guy like Grant Amen, and you're not 100% sure what his status is going to be, but there's also a number of offensive weapons out there for that team. How, how do you kind of, in the week leading up, prep for that? Yeah, they're, they're a hard team to replicate. I thought our scout team did a good job, um, but it's never, it's never as good as what they're going to be. Um, and, you know, we kind of, you know, we had some different plans. Um, you know, we, we kind of felt like one was going to play. We spent most of the week um, just prepping with one, you know, and, and that was really the bulk of it. Um, and then, you know, we also, you know, had a couple plans in in, in case one didn't play. Um, the hard part is, you know, you had a number of things last week. Um, you know, Kelly doesn't play and, and, and uh, Dan uh, remote or Rome doesn't play. Um, you know, a number of guys don't play. So even last week when they had a week without a man, they didn't have the same guys on. So you're kind of forecasting, all right, if he doesn't play, this is potentially what they're going to do so that you're in a little bit of the unknown. Um, and you do your best. Um, we're always going to go back to kind of some key principles and philosophies. Um, we practiced a lot of what they did. They do a lot of the wing pick stuff, and we had seen that before. I think they do it very well. Um, they have great personnel for it. They do it at a high level. Um, they have really good inside cutters, and you've seen that in some of their games. Um, you know, I thought we, uh, we were going to really try to focus on that first quarter, but you turn on the film, and they did the same thing to Stony Brook. They did the same thing to Cornell. They did the same thing to Jacksonville. Um, you know, they really come at you hard, and that's a credit to them. You know, like when the whistle blows, that team's ready to roll. Time for a couple more guys. What were the particular challenges at face-off? And I got one that Bruce mentioned. There was a face-off uh, early in the game where it seemed like they were locked horns there for about 15 seconds. Have you seen that before? Yeah, that can happen. Um, you know, the guys basically, both guys are pretty close to the ball, so it's it's hard to get it out. And, and there's some maneuvering in there. If you move too much, the other guy will counter and get the ball. So sometimes guys will just be really patient um, because if you just change, you know, how hard you're pressing on your stick, the other guy can counter that and pull it out. So you really don't want to, to move too, too much. Um, you know, they have a great face-off guy. You know, George, like one of the best in the country um, and, and statistically was last year, uh, especially before he got hurt. Um, so he's very, very good. They have great wing play. They're very organized, and uh, those guys are athletic. Um, you know, and I think uh, early in the game, you know, Austin won the first one, so we were excited about that. We were close to uh, 50% in the first quarter, and then it just felt like as the game went on, Gerard was doing a little better job. Um, so, you know, tip your hat. You're like, he's really good. Last one, Eric. Uh, Roman Coach mentioned how difficult it is to replicate a team like Penn State during practice. What were your initial reactions to how they came out, and then how did you guys settle in from there? Yeah, I mean, like Coach said, a credit to our scout. Uh, amazing all week. Um, you know, I think it's just hard. Uh, you have the number one offense in the country, and um, they, they got parts all over the field from, from a man all the way down to their second line. I mean, all those guys can ball. So uh, it's a credit to them. I, I think they just came out fast. Um, and, and they didn't slow down. Uh, it's Coach Jesse, I mean, we made adjustments after the first quarter and, and we settled in and 
just kind of bought in and played for each other and, and really forgot about kind of what they were doing, just got back to our basics and, and focused on that, what we were taught day one when we came out in the fall. Um, so, I mean, it's definitely progress from, from the first quarter through the rest of it. Um, we, can, we can look at the film tomorrow and the rest of the week and, and we'll get better from it. Uh, that's what we do every week. And, and I think, you know, there's going to be a chip on a lot of our shoulders. Uh, it's, we have an expectation and we didn't live up to it. So um, you'll see a better performance next week. I can guarantee that. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody.